Last week, Colombian presidential candidate Alejandro Gaviria stated that he essentially wanted to apply a universal basic income, but specifically for those people that are under 30 years. Of course, this was a quite controversial moment that many media outlets talk about for, for plenty of time, considering that there were different opinions regarding this particular matter. On the first hand, we, we need to say that Alejandro Gaviria is essentially the, the candidate for the center-left, the Colombian center-left, and he, he has as a background the fact that he was basically the, the, the highest hierarchy on the Colombian University de los Andes. Uh, he's a very famous intellectual here in Colombia, and many people think that he could represent a significant turning point in the upcoming elections, considering that he could take a lot of votes from the extreme leftist candidate, Gustavo Petro. Of course, I, in my opinion, uh, proposing uh, uh, this, this type of universal basic income is, is somehow a very bad move. Is a move that I honestly believe that it's not realistic because we need to take into consideration that Colombia over the last few months have been experiencing a, wide, a widespread crisis, not only a political crisis, but also an economic crisis that reached a turning point in the widespread protest that came right after President Ivan Duque proposed basically a tax reform, which main goal was essentially to subsidize the different social programs that his government started to apply since the beginning of the pandemic. So when Duque <clears throat> proposed this tax reform, many said that it was, it was a craziness, it, it was total madness because Colombia is not exactly a first world nation that has a first world economy where the government could easily raise taxes and make things remain the same. This is not the case of Colombia. And Alejandro Gaviria was, <clears throat> was basically one of the main critics of not, not only of President Duque, but essentially of this tax reform. So proposing this new measure is essentially populism. It's essentially populism and, and, and he's basically lying because this will not only be almost impossible to achieve, but this will be quite problematic for the Colombian economy. It will be extremely problematic. On the other hand, I, I do believe this is nothing more than, than a political move, which main goal is, is essentially to take some votes for, the, for Gustavo Petro, from Gustavo Petro, which nowadays remains as the favorite candidate to win next year's Colombian presidential elections. Because we need to take into consideration the fact that Alejandro Gaviria is for the center left so he's essentially a moderate leftist which political base will be basically that that political faction not only the center but the moderate leftist of, of colombia so in order to beat gustavo petro he need to take these types of approach in order to take some votes from him so at the end of the day considering that we are explaining something quite important, such as presidential election, this type of political event that is quite determining. And we are still, I mean, there's one, sti there one, there's one year ahead because the political election will be next year. Given this situation, it is an undeniable fact that everything can happen. Everything can happen despite the fact that Gustavo Petro is the main favorite to win the presidential elections, it is quite possible that Alejandro Gaviria could get a lot of popularity over the next few months. However, I, I do believe that this measure that he, that he promised to, to apply won't do anything. Reporting from Medellin, Colombia, Luis Orozco, Newsweek.